there, my name is Yudia Filament and today I want to talk about my uh, uh, project, last painting project, which was called No Connection. And this uh, art project was uh, basically uh, some part of my personal research and also based on psychology and sociology, uh, which I was deeply interested in for quite some time. Basically, by uh, by being interested, I was kind of trying to heal myself, heal my own uh, inner troubles, inner uh, misunderstandings, and uh, this collection was kind of this type of research which uh, helps me to become more complete version of me, and, and I think transform myself into that. That's how it started and uh, it became a collection of uh, 11 paintings in total. Um, they are uh, basically uh, done within one year, even I think even uh, less than one year. And this, uh, they are paintings on canvas with fine oils and uh, they are represented by a figurative uh, painting of human body uh, basically quite surrealistic but still quite realistic it's a human body a little bit transformed in proportions with cubes on their heads and uh, by uh, t putting cube on their head I tried to uh, show the person who is isolated from society who is uh, within own world trying to connect to others uh, trying to connect to itself, himself, herself, and uh, trying to still keep own uh, personality, own identity within this cube. And uh, I will read you description, which I have written before, and by that I want to uh, help you to understand the concept and maybe you will find something inside of it or get inspired by that. Uh, well, psychology in, is in the core. My life for psychology, philosophy and social relation is laid in the concept of my paintings. I was always curious how society works. What is the reason for people to act like that, think like that, feel this or that? Everything started from personal research and desire to learn and understand myself as a part of this world and society. Because I think many people will agree that sometimes it seems to be very complicated to be a human. I've noticed that people are not always connected to each other, mentally, emotionally, physically. What is that? Don't have they anything in common, or too much? Do they look in opposite directions, or want to be a center? Do they accept dominance of another person, or want to be on his or her place? Do they want to care of someone, but another one has no need in it? What is the reason they cannot understand each other? I analyze the situations which were between me and others, between my friends, people I know, or even don't know. Just see the situation on the street, or read about it in book or internet. I look at lives through this analytics, uh, through this analytic perspective, try to find out the show in art those situations. Faceless, sexless, skin colorless, free from prejudgment. Box of the head, box of the head is a very significant symbol in my paintings. I use it to hide emotions, appearance, eyes, facial expressions, sex of person. Because we put a lot of labels on people based on their haircut, skin tone color of their eyes, our own parameters of beauty, and that means that we make a person, we take a person through our own vision, our stereotypes, our taste, prejudgment. We are the one who decides who is the person for us. This person cannot much to do if we already decided what we do think about him or her. To avoid it, I wanted to use a human body in this pure symbolic meaning. Now, when there is no face, no genitals, no skin tone, you cannot apply your automatic perception, so you are forced to think a bit more before making decisions. Just because there are no place for your past experience, there is a space only for present moment. 
It is also a reminder for me and others. It happens a lot that we don't give a chance to someone to impress us, to show who they are because we already decided for ourselves that this person doesn't fit into our world because of some reasons, even if we don't know him or her personally. I can see it around where a lot of foreigners and people are not to are tolerant, but sometimes it happens. And we come again to psychology side, because it is very normal to be prejudgmental. We need to learn, so it is a natural function in our brain. Remember to trust history, to be careful and to make fast decisions. We speak even if we are completely silent. They say we use six ways of perception to understand the world, to be aware every day. But I do believe that there are much more complex ways of perception and communications, which we are not always aware of. As mostly visual person, I became very interested in body language. So in this collection, the basic way of communication between audience and character is a body language. Any of paintings doesn't have face which makes attention focused on gesture even more and breaks the original region of emotions from face, eyes, mimics as we do in every, every day. I think by simple way of movement we can say so much, but also this way of communication is very intuitive because by using it uh, it's much easier to end up in misunderstanding. So that was it, that was description about uh, my paintings, quite detailed description and uh, only what's le uh, what's, what was not in it, uh, I didn't tell about last painting. The last painting, I will not tell about all, but the last painting, it was more about connection and it was like the, the last, you know, the last cherry on the cake. Uh, why connection? Because I think that sometimes it's my hope that going through life, meeting a lot of these connections, basically first making connections and then meeting these connections, you uh, finally find your own connection in this life. Uh, and of course it is not like the process which uh, stops at this moment, but at least you uh, become a part of, of some uh, some society, uh, you become a couple with a similar minded person. It's like my, you know, um, the, co the, the collection is quite depressive, but the last painting for me is a little bit of hope. I really hope to connect. And uh, that last painting it also includes Rotterdam uh, buildings, uh, which uh, are cubes one in a, on the block. And for me, it was very impressive. When I came to Rotterdam, I was fascinated by this uh, architecture and this cube was standing on the edge. You know, it was very uh, great for me to see. And I felt like, you know, I feel now connected to Rotterdam. This is the place where I want to stay. This is the place where I feel like to settle down and uh, uh, put my roots into the ground. And there was like, a, on this painting, uh, three creatures are sitting already on the ground and the fourth creature comes and bends the head and for me it is a symbol also the, my self-portrait I come to Rotterdam and as a foreigner I have to bend my head I have to learn traditions but I, I have to keep in mind who am I and to bring myself towards Rotterdam as a personality, as a creature which, which has own value, but still I have to bend, I still have to connect with people. I have to do more effort to connect and I think this is very, um, this is something which I think a lot of people in Rotterdam, especially foreigners, refugees and all type of people who came from far abroad, from different culture, they can understand, I think they can really understand what does it mean to connect, try to connect. Uh, try to learn language, try to settle down, try to keep yourself and not to lose within the, this new society which we came to. But still to bend our knees and try to, you know, to become a part of it. So this tiny balance which I tried to achieve is all put into this painting and, and that's why for me it's very important 
a cherry on top of the cake. Through all this connection, I was coming to connection and I really hope for everyone that uh, we have the, the reason in our life and the, to, to achieve that. And we have, everyone deserves to achieve that, to the connection with own tribe, let's say. But I don't mean your people where you came from, I mean people who are similar minded with who you can call call yourself. I'm so mad with them. So yes, that was an explanation of No Connection Collection and thank you for watching me. And if you have any ideas for connection and cooperation, so please let me know. Or if you have any questions, leave comments and uh, we will discuss it. Thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon.